really sad. You know, the thing happened in life. Eight people are now without a place to live after a fire heavily damaged this building with three apartments in the city of Wilkesbury. Otto Ribera owns the Horton Street property and he also lives here. He was home last night when the fire started. I, I was watching TV in my living room when I heard that she yelling, 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 fire, fire in Spanish. I said, but what's going on? And then I come in out and she was outside. And then I decided to go and say, what happened, what happened? She's like, there's a fire, there's a fire. I get my fire extinguisher here. I got a few fire extinguishers. I grabbed one, but when I tried to get inside, I can't. Because the smoke went through my nose, I almost suffocated. Fire crews were called back to the scene this morning, just after 11. The city of Wilkesbury assistant fire chief tells Newswatch 16, smoke started coming out from inside the wall in one of the units. The Red Cross is helping the people forced from their homes, but they are still left to figure out what's next. Well, I don't know where me go now because I have two sons over there. So I sleeping with my son. Well, I don't know what happening now. Uh, where did me go? I need a place, a room, I don't know. People who once lived here tell Newswatch 16 they're thankful everyone who was home made it out safely. I think so God helped me because I have my church, Pentecostal. So God help for the people, pray to the other people. I'm doing like that all the time. A city fire inspector is investigating what caused the fire. Emily Kress, Newswatch 16, Wilkes-Barre.